weird that it caused that reaction. Is it? Yeah. I think so. We were just talking about what I had for, for breakfast. It was Twizzlers was the answer. It's been one of those days, I think. It's like 9-something, right? <laughs> no, like 9.45, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, you want to do the intro thing? What? Hi, say hi. <laughs> good morning, everybody. That's all I got this morning, I think. Oh, good morning. <laughs> good morning. He thinks he's like, uh, what's that show, like Will Ferrell, where he's the anchor? Anchorman. Oh, Anchorman. What's I think he's the anchor man this well, morning. Will Ferrell's the anchor. <laughs> what is that, Anchorman? <laughs> Doesn't ring a bell. Not sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, hello, good morning, everybody. We have a great, awesome show today. It's going to be... See, Will Ferrell. Sorry, go ahead. And now I don't want to do it. <laughs> Where are you going? Anchorman always wants to do his show. Yeah. All right. Well, he must not think that's funny. Who? Me? Yeah. No, I thought, I thought it was funny. Oh. Hi, Jessica. All right. Five things that agents could be doing this time of year to increase their business. Right? I know. Seems crazy, right? Yeah. Everything's getting slow a little bit. It's slowing down. It's normal for this time of year. Yeah. Yeah. But normally December is like our best month of the year. Really? Mm-hmm. I just love it. all the holidays, all that good stuff, the parties and stuff, it's fun. Oh, are you like the agent that's like, hey, it's Thanksgiving, I don't need to work till after Christmas? Or no, 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 in fact, <laughs> it's a good thing that you bring that up, Nicole, it's almost like we've scripted that part or something like that, which we did not. But anyway, our number five, our fifth tip for you, actually it was our first one, but it's really the last one we're doing, I don't know. Yeah, sort of, something like that, okay. Okay, anyway, back on track. Keep working! Okay, don't sabotage your first quarter. Because what you have to remember is everything that you do now affects you. This is what I always tell my team 60 days from now. So if you're like, oh, well, I'm just going to go on vacation or I just won't go to work today or I'm just going to work like a day a week, um, your, first, your first quarter isn't going to be so good. That's right. Keep working. Don't stop. you got plenty of, plenty of houses that need to be shown and sold and all that good stuff. So, so keep up the good work. Okay, number four. Um, take some training, hold yourself accountable to your 2018 plan. That's what you do, right? You're always checking your plan, seeing where you're at. Yeah, I actually have a spreadsheet for the whole team. I'm a super, anybody that knows me, I'm a super hard numbers person. So I check that sucker like every day. Um, and you guys should know your return on investment for your leads and things like that so that you make sure that you are profitable through the end of the year. Yeah, excellent. You should always know, I, I think that's a weird thing too, you can... You can ask an agent like, hey, how many deals are you at for the year or something like that? And a lot of times they don't know. Yeah. But I think when, you know, when I was in coaching programs and stuff like that, you know, your coach, you well, one, you had to turn your numbers into them every week or whatever, but <clears throat> but you always knew where you were at, where you were at. And I think that's important to know where you're going. Well, I think too, if you don't set goals, like you're never going to achieve, you know, what your, your max potential, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, um, you know, we do goals monthly I sit down with the agents um, and then we have a team goal obviously that we have for the year so you should always set yourself goals and at this time of year you should be looking at what you're missing and what you gained um, so that you can make your last quarter the best yeah it's fun to sleep oh my god <laughs> I'm gonna drink out of my unicorn cup now Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if that is supposed to affect me in any way. I don't know. I just All thought right. it was cool. Don't you like my uniform cup? All right. Our number, our number three tip for you, and this one's one of my favorites, is for sale by owners. Okay? This is the time of year where it gets a little bit more difficult for a for sale by owner to sell on their own. Yeah. So this is the time of year where it's great. Um, you know, if you don't drive by one, that's what I used to challenge myself. I would never drive by a for, for sale by owner. I would pull over, uh, offer them a card, you know, see if there's anything I could do to help them or whatever. Um, and that always worked out pretty well for me. Yeah, don't be scared. Um, you know, if you have for sale by owners, however you're getting them, um, you know, send them a CMA. It's not going to hurt. It costs you a, a couple dollars and you can send it over to them and maybe do a follow-up call and see where it goes. Excellent. Excellent. I like it. Yep. Our, our second to last tip for you would be open houses. You know, this is a great time of year. Nicole's team does a lot of open houses. There, a lot of people are going to open houses right now, surprisingly so. Yeah, so if you don't, the thing is, if you don't have any listings to do open houses on, remember, ask your managing broker, hey, can I do an open house on your listing? Or there are definitely agents in your office 
You may not think it, but there are agents in your office. If you ask, they would allow you to do an open house on their oh yeah listing. Definitely. Yep. Definitely. All right. Let's see. Who's that? Hey, James. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, our number. Let's see. Our last tip. Um, well, anyway, also, yeah, if you don't have any other listings or, or something, ask your managing broker. They could probably find someone for you. Um, did we say, we didn't say that yet, did we? Yeah, I did. Did you? Yeah. All right, she said, well, he do got what she said. By James, come in the door, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real office over here. <laughs> um, okay, and then the number one tip, go ahead, Nicole. Is call, every, call everybody that you worked with over the last year. Remember, this is the time of year you need to call them, and the best reason to call is, hey, have you filed your exemptions? And then at least you could chat them up a little bit, maybe get a referral, you never know. Um, and the other thing I like a lot is pop-ins. Um, you know, who is it, Brian Buffini? Brian says Buffini, that? Yeah. Brian Buffini says that. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be something expensive, you know, pumpkins or a Starbucks cup or something that you can drop off at past clients' homes um, to know that they're, to let them know that you're thinking about them. Yeah, pop in is kind of stopping there, giving them something of value, like yeah. Nicole was saying, a pumpkin or something. A lot of realtors were doing pumpkins I saw this year. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. All right, I think, is that, do we got anything else? Uh, also, they say interest rates are supposed to be going up again in January. Yes. So if you know any buyers that are looking to buy a house, now's a great time to get it and get it closed before the end of the year when uh, interest rates are supposed to go up a little bit again. Yeah, I heard like 6% next year, something like that. Yikes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so it's a good time to buy now then. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you. And thank you guys, everyone who's been watching and on all that. I went to a realtor event last night and there's probably, I don't know, a couple people came up and said that they love the show and all that stuff. So I guess I just want to say thanks. It's kind of humbling. It's cool. Yeah, it's nice. Um, there's realtors that I've been working with here recently that I have never worked with before. And they're like, I recognize you from the show. So thank you guys so much for continuing to watch every week. And um, if you can, like and share it for us so that other people can see what we have to say. Oh, yeah. Please share it. That'd be cool. Yeah. 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 And uh, stop giving me stuff. I'm not going to give you Nicole's autograph. All right? I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> just kidding. All right. Thanks. Bye.